Arsenal Fan TV, Mo, how good was that? I just said to the last guy, walk in the park. It was, I'm absolutely buzzing. It was brilliant. Look, if that's a dress rehearsal for the FA Cup final, start engraving our name on it. If they make the FA Cup final. If, if, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if, it, if it is a dress rehearsal, yeah. we've got the beating of Liverpool, clearly. It was brilliant. And, look, you know, there's a lot of talk about ticket prices and stuff today. There was a protest that was done by Red Action, Black mm. Scarf, AST, the Guna fanzine, Spirit of Shankly, and another one I can't remember. I'm really sorry. But... Look, it, this was a Category A game today, but it was a Category A performance. You know, mm. it was one of them times where it was worth the money. You know, mm. that, that was a superb, superb mm. performance from Arsenal. We, we, we always hear a lot of times, oh, a big player didn't turn up for this game. But, but yeah. our big players turned up. Um, Ozil with a brilliant yeah. free kick. San, uh, um, Alexis Sanchez. Definitely. You know, all of the players turned up today. And we're talking about these big, big reputation players that turned up. But... The player that turned up for me the most was a player with the smallest reputation. And that was the bloke that was alone at Charlton a couple of months ago. Mm. He was just absolutely phenomenal. You know, people have been talking about how good he is. And I thought I'd check it out for myself. I mean, looking at all of his stats and comparing him to some of the top players in the league in his position. And he's head and shoulders above them. He really is. He's been superb. And today, he's, he was better than even that level of performance. It's very, very tough to ban this phrase about, but today, in my opinion, he was world class. That was a world class performance from Francis Coquelin. I hope the, the pundits on BT Sport give him his credit, mm. but seeing as it's Michael Owen, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> because I think Michael Owen was saying that Sterling's better than Urzel before the game. So, you know, <laughs> God knows what nonsense he was talking. Well, what did you make of Sterling today? I mean, Look, until they switched him over on the right, he started causing problems. Yeah. But earlier on, they, they dealt with him easy. You know, it, it really annoys me all this old Arsene Wenger doesn't do tactics rubbish. Sterling on Mertesacker without a decent a decent plan to deal with that mismatch, you'll get roasted all day. If you just let him you know, go on Murtasaka, he would have got roasted. The way Koscielny was covering him behind, Murtasaka was attacking the first ball because they knew Sterling's going to attach himself to Murtasaka to try and create that mismatch. We dealt with everything they had absolutely perfectly. When managers are making subs at half-time, it's because they know it's not working. The 3-0 mm. scoreline's a bit of a giveaway as well. But Wenger got it bang on today. And let's not just talk about the players, because if we were 3-0 down at half-time, Wenger would be getting slated and the players get a free ride. Um, instead, instead of getting criticism. Every single department was superb today, from the keeper to Bellerin and Monreal, who were great. Koscielny had to go off. We, you know, second half wasn't as good as the first half, but that's kind of natural to have that drop-off. Paulista came in and did brilliantly as well. Absolutely everyone. And I'm really, really glad Alexis Sanchez got the goal because... Liverpool, they thought they could sign him. It just made you think, what were they smoking over there <laughs> when they thought they could get Alexis Sanchez? And I feel sorry for Sterling being put out up front because we were on point today. Reminds me of when Walcott was looking for a new contract and he got that role that he wanted being played out up front. You know, Sterling, it'll be interesting to see what happens, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see him here. Cracking little player. Um, but today, not his day, not anyone's day, purely the Arsenal's day. Brilliant. So listen, bring on the FA Cup final now against whoever the hell it is. Don't care. So, it's so great. I mean, this is the week we're all remembering the great David Rowcastle. I mean, I mean, I was, I was, I, all the tributes that came in on on Tuesday. I, I was even in tears. You know, you know, 34 years old. You know, leaving us, and you know that was that win was for you, Rocky, mate. That was for you, Rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah.